Well hi and welcome to a very windy Phillip Island. Come down for a short break. I've got two mornings to do some photographing, mucking around, birds in flight and also a landscape shot on the ocean foreshore. I've come for a walk. I've only just been here probably two hours now. I've come for a walk to calm down. The drive down here is getting slower and slower over the last 15 years. I've been coming here since I was a little kid and it used to be easy to get down here. Hardly any cars, hardly any people on the island, but now in the last 15 years it's just gone nuts with tourists. So it's hard dealing with that, especially when I come from the bush and I don't have to deal with that every day. Lots of cars and everything, uh, people all over the place. But anyway, uh, come down the beach, looking for a composition for the morning, or maybe even if I can sneak away later on, if the sun's going down. Try and open my mind again, because I don't get to do this very often, landscape photography. Uh, yeah, I'm up in forest areas, there's not really chances of landscaping shots. So I have to re-educate myself, open my mind, slow my mind down. Just enjoy being on the beach, watching nature. Probably more the fact than anything, isn't it? Just being here. Anyway. I'll sign off for now. Might see you later on as the sun goes down if I can sneak away for a few minutes. I'm going to check out a bit further down here. Maybe in the morning I might be able to get something spectacular. A landscape shot, maybe an animal in the seam. So wildlife versus landscape. I'll see you then. Uh, taking photographs, not watching what the tide's actually doing. I actually thought it's going out and all of a sudden it's come in and look around me. Uh, I'm covered in water. There's no way for me to get back unless I jump in. That absolutely saturated up to my knees. So I had to move quickly because it was coming over the rocks as well. About to wipe my camera off. Got it all on the beach. The camera that is after walking through a metre of water. Um, then I realised my friggin' camera, my video camera and my bag are in the water. I had to sprint back up here. Look, the torch was submerged in water and it's still going. Probably won't be for long, but amazing. Um, my bag, oh look, won't turn off. Is now. Uh, I have to have a look at my bag and see how it is and then get the water out of my bloody boots. Well that was a bit of an experience. That's what happens when you really get in the mode. <laughs> I'd set up beautifully, thought I had everything going really well for me. Taking some shots, test shots, looking good, waiting for the sun to burst through, colour the clouds in the background and all of a sudden my feet are getting wet <laughs> and wetter and wetter. Oh my god. They are bugging. I was waiting for that shaft of light to break through. Uh, it really didn't, not properly anyway. Uh, I've had to change position where I was at the start. I thought it was really good, but, but in the end, having to shift up onto the beach, I uh, worked out on a better angle anyway. It was too much in the image. It was a bit cluttered, and I just wanted it simple. That is an old 
Oh, sorry, I'll get the water out of my socks first. Uh, yeah, that's that's a shipwreck, part of a shipwreck. The hull, I don't know, back in the 1920s or something, I can't remember. I'll um, write the name and everything about it up here if I can find it. I'm pretty sure it'd be easy to find the history of that. I've actually got a book somewhere on shipwrecks around Victoria, but look at that. <laughs> Absolutely soaked. Gonna have to hose them down when I go back. And my bag. You know what? That bag's actually waterproof. <laughs> it was open though. It doesn't look like it got inside. The top was open. No, it hasn't got in. So I'm lucky there. All I've lost is my headlamp. Yeah, it's stuffed. But I can um, replace that pretty quickly because I bought two of them. Just in case that was going to happen. Um, some sort of disaster. But, whew. You know what, there's still some images to be had here. Um, sun's rising up over there, and oh, it's the right time of year, it would have been perfect. It's too much cloud down that way. The, most of the colour's sort of going now, but there's too much cloud over there. The sun's got lots of rays shining through onto the mountain ranges down there, onto the beaches. It does look really good, it's Pyramid Rock up there, which I might do tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at it on my way back. Um, conditions might be similar to today, but I just wanted that sun to break through and it was coming and the, yeah, it just didn't work. It was up on top of the hill just here. So close to hitting my subject. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling and carrying on. I'm gonna try drop myself off a bit and then I'm going to walk around and try and find a nice composition that's very simple that's that's my project for the morning now that I'm finished with uh, the shipwreck all right catch you later on I forgot to uh, <laughs> tell you before how I was taking that shot now I cannot find my gradient ND filters anywhere in my house. The last time I used it was on a cow paddock in February of this year. So they could be there. So I'll have to go and check when I go home. If I'm lucky the cows haven't eaten it. Uh, to replace them now, I don't know how much that would cost. Probably 600 maybe even more. Prices have gone right up since I bought them. I think it cost me about 300 nine years ago. But their yeah, prices have skyrocketed. The Kogan a gradient ND filters and some solid ones as well. So uh, in the end I had to take a shot with the 7D Mark II on a high dynamic range mode. Which seemed to work alright. I uh, would have preferred the gradient filters but uh, I had a bit more control myself. Good morning, sort of. It's been raining most of the night and it's really shitty conditions for taking photographs. But I thought I'd come back to Kitty Miller Bay, where I was yesterday, and uh, just go for a walk and just uh, have a bit of fun. <laughs> around taking photographs, sort of. But where I was uh, getting my feet wet yesterday, my boots soaking wet, dry now thank goodness, 
I'm going to get my head wet today. But anyway, we'll uh, make something out of the day. I am not sitting at home, <laughs> sitting in my accommodation. Um, it'd drive me nuts. So I have to come out and do something. But what I'm going to do is just look for unusual photographs, you know, simple things. Trying to get my feet wet again. I'm just trying to get a shot here. The water pulling back out. But I don't have those filters. I don't have the gradient filters to cut this blown out sky down. Uh, a bit further up, out of the scene, it's all dark and it would work out. But at the minute, there's no way known I can do it without filters. Uh, what I want is a really long exposure, so I need, I need to set the camera up so I've got a long, long exposure to make that water that just came in roar out and have this beautiful looking image. At the start, on my piece of art in front here, which is part of the wreck, then you have the wreck itself, so your eye is drawn to it piece of art in the front here, then you just look into the background and see the rest of the wreck and hopefully it will be in some sort of nice sky. It ain't working. Well I've come back late in the afternoon to Kitty Miller Bay because I really like this piece of art behind me, this shipwreck. Uh, I've looked all over the place in different areas and this is really what I'm happy with. I just can't find anything nice that really interests me, but this does. Uh, I don't know, it's just a beautiful piece of art. Now I've taken photographs all the way around just before trying to um, really get to know this piece of art what best represents where it is and also uh, yeah, show that it's a piece of art not just a wreck that you take a photograph from different angles or whatever so what I've decided is if I'm feeling well tomorrow because I have a man cold hitting me at a hundred miles an hour not long after I left here this morning I start to feel like I'm dizzy and yeah, you know what a man cold is. Uh, it's really making my head really fuzzy, so it's hard to concentrate, but I'm trying the best I can. So I've got something set for the morning. So weather conditions, like this morning, it was pouring down rain, I didn't come out early, I stayed in bed. Uh, but if it's not too bad and I don't feel too bad, I'll come out early get that beautiful sun coming over the hill there hopefully hitting it with that beautiful morning glow from the other side that's the part that I like it has nice lines that run off like that when you get on the right angle and it shows where the shipwreck is at the ocean if I took it from the other side it's actually not a bad shot it looks nice the, a nice piece of art and everything but I get that mountain range in the background there. I don't want that because that doesn't show where it is. It just looks like it's been shoved on a couple of rocks and it's got a mountain range in the background. It doesn't tell you the story of where it is. So that's what I want. I want the story of a shipwreck at the ocean. So coming on the other side there has a nice shape running around like this. So you start off looking at the base of the piece of art and then you follow the shape around to the ocean at the back it looks good it just depends on the sky everything else like that and me turning up all right I think I've said enough um, I did use a polarizer before I managed to remember somehow to bring it with me 
uh, to help out because I have to improvise. I don't have those filters and it makes it hard with the harsh conditions that you have here. Um, different lighting conditions for my piece of art and the sky. The sky was really blown out. I'm getting some nice puffy clouds and stuff here now so I could, I don't, I could just use high dynamic range now to get a nice image. I've got mountain range here and the sun's almost gone now. Going down below it as the sun's probably got another hour and a half before it actually sets but because of the mountain range here it's going to block it out. It's going to disappear over top. I've got maybe, I don't know, maybe five minutes, maybe ten minutes at the most but I've got it blocked by clouds. Um, I might, it might peek out for another shot that I've got set up here on this side because what I'm doing is looking through the holes and looking through at the ocean. It's a nice shot from there too. Oh, anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to sign off for now. Uh, just a quick check in with how I'm going before the sun goes down. The tide's coming back in. It's a race. Starting to get some colour now, but it is a race against time. Who's going to win? Nature or me? Uh, something I forgot to tell you about before, which is very important. If you're going to leave your camera out for a long time, right now the starting those misty stuff come in. Put this a rag or something over your lens. This morning I didn't take any notice. My lens was covered in this bloody sea misty crap and it goes really oily. And it's hard to get off. There's a storm coming and it just created beautiful colours from the sky over that way onto my scene. So I was taking it from here just before and I quickly shot around the other side on the actual way I really want to present this beautiful piece of art with the morning sun but with the sun going down over there there's just that mountain range just here, these rocks and stuff. Beautiful colours in the sky, orange. Lightning strikes. This piece of art just looked bloody beautiful. It, the water's coming in, so I'm getting reflections on the water. It was so exciting, and I'm waffling and carrying on too much, and I am so sick of this cold. And it's gonna piss down and rain soon, so I'm packing up and getting out of here. See ya, in the morning, maybe. See you later. Doing a, whoops, a quick selfie. It is absolutely unbelievable. The storm that's coming, it's about to hit me any second now. And um, I'm squeaking. This is crazy, I've pushed my luck too far. This is gonna be one hell of a storm. Good morning. Take the rag off. That was uh, stopping any of the misty stuff off the ocean coming onto my lens. Keep it clean. Well, this is the uh, end of my trip to Phillip Island. Last morning, heading off. Once I go back, have some bricky, pack up, and go home. I was hoping for a, another big show like I had last night with some colour in the sky and everything but it hasn't eventuated. We've got those thick, flat clouds so that there's nothing about them. Even if it, I did get the sun come up, there's no features in the cloud at all. So it wouldn't have worked out very well. But last night, oh man, that was just absolutely unbelievable. All the elements come together and I got something absolutely spectacular. It was so exciting. I know it's only photography, but when things come together, it, it is exciting, that's for sure. I had just enough of the tide coming up. It gave me enough water, a couple of inches, coming over these rocks here underneath my beautiful piece of art here, this shipwreck. Just enough water that it gave me a reflection of my piece of art and also the clouds that were in the sky. 
beautiful oranges. It was just amazing. It was a race against time though, because I had to leave my shop to the last moment before the storm was going to hit. It was lightning, thunder, it was lots of drama, and my, I think my image shows all that. Um, I took a portrait shot and a landscape shot, and I, what I could see on the camera, I love them both, they're just beautiful. Put them in the Photoshop when I get home, and just tweak things up a little bit more, make it, make it a little bit more drama, but yeah, they'd probably be all right straight out of the camera. Uh, yeah, what an awesome time I've had here. I've been rained on. I've got my boots and my socks soaking wet twice. Uh, so it's just been, yeah, and a big adventure. It's been awesome. All right, so it looks like it actually may even rain now. So I better sign off. Uh, yeah, all right. Amazing here today. Amazing week. Just made it to the car yesterday. <laughs> that storm, thunderstorm, because I stopped and filmed it on top of the hill there, which was probably pretty stupid. But I wanted, I wanted to capture it on video as well. So I got some lightning strikes. Oh, look, I tell you what, I'll leave it here now. I'll leave you with a whole heap of images that I'm happy with once I get home and process it. And that thunderstorm. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below. And you'll get notification whenever I do anything else crazy uh, out in the great outdoors. I've uh, got two books that I've written on my passion, the Agile Antichinus, the small carnivorous marsupial, that the world needs to know about. No one knows about them, so I want the world to know about these beautiful little marsupials. They're available as an e-book as well, but a soft, two soft cover books there. It's about the life of males and the life of females. How they go about living their lives, interacting with each other and all sorts of other things. It's a good read, I give you facts at the start, but I've made it interesting as a read. And as you get to the back, I talk about the individual animals, the individual marsupial that have taught me about different aspects of the lives of the Agile Enterprise. If I'll leave them in the description down below, links to those books and the ebooks. Right, now, if you'd like to go and have a look at my channel, click on my icon down below. I'll also put a link to my channel just here at the end of this video. We have in screens these days. Uh, yeah, so the links and also a link to a, another video on this side. Yeah, go and have a look at my channel. I've done tons of stuff like this, uh, talk about lots of different things related to photography, lessons, tips, uh, birds in flight slash photography, there's tons of rubbish here, go and have a look, there must be something of interest to you there. Yeah, just remember, if you don't do, you don't get, so get out there and start photographing and filming while I'm, I'm going to hang around for a minute. You wouldn't believe it, the sun's going to pop out of a tiny little gap there. It's trying to. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it with you. A um, whole heap of stuff that um, will be my favourite photographs and anything else I can grab. See ya. Be even younger than that. And uh, oh. well, hi and welcome to Phillip Island. Oh, shit.